Hey everybody, call me Felix. And uh, you know it's a special occasion when dad is not wearing his white shirt. You know, dad just likes to wear his white shirt and blue pants like he's Homer Simpson. Um, but he's wearing his Manchester United jersey. And we are going to a wedding. Uh, and this is a unique one because one of my cousins in Canada is getting married. As a matter of fact. And it's Sunday morning here in the Philippines in Piddig. My dad's ancestral town. And we are going to the neighboring town of Vintar. And uh, that's where the groom's family is. The groom is not my cousin, but my cousin is the bride. Um, and because, of course, we're in the time of pandemic and full of closed borders and it's making it hard to travel, we have a unique situation where we have a teleconference wedding. You know, 2020 is the year of Zoom. So. And there, apparently, from what I've heard, is there's a big feast. Hint, hint. They butchered a cow and two pigs. So I'm looking forward to the feasting especially. I mean, it's my first time celebrating a wedding in the province of the Philippines. So this is exciting, people. Exciting, I tell you. And I can't wait to show you all the good stuff. And I'm going to title this blog, Love in the Time of... Not cholera, but love in the time of Zoom. Hey, Jose! Okay, guys, we finally arrived. And you know what? I think we've traveled the length and breadth of Ilocos Norte, and I kind of feel like we've... I mean, not Payao instead. We're in the next mountain province over. And the reason why... We went through... Several mountain roads. As if we're in Baguio or something like that. And we had to ford two, through two rivers to get here. I do not want to know what the road back home I'm looks like. I'm surprised we didn't like um, run down a few carabao on the way here. <sighs> and unfortunately, now I'm going to come out in the open and say this. I have bipolar disorder and I'm like on the downswing of like being really moody. Because I have really terrible mood swings. So it's like, I would, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, that was an unpleasant ride. And here's the reason why. Because it's bumpy, we had this rickety old van, and then Ilocano music is like, it's like mariachi music that's been slowed down so that people could hit high notes when they sing. So then it just lulls you into, and then it's very loud. I mean, you know, Ilocanos are super loud. And that's something I'm not really used to. And there's like 16 people in the van and we all had to wear masks because, you know, no social distancing and such. And so that's a bit of an adjustment for me. It's an introvert's nightmare. And it's kind of like, and especially for a schizoid like me, who has schizoid personality disorder too. Um, to say the least, I think I was tearing my own skin from inside, if that makes any sense. But we are here. And it looks like they invited the entire village here. And no one ever told me that Bintar was huge. So when people ask me, where are you going today? I'm going to Bintar to go to a wedding. And I said, all right, in the central? And I said, well, presumably so, yes. But um, we wound up way out in the boonies, one hour away from the central. I had no idea Bintar was so massive. So we went through some beautiful mountains and here we are nestled in this beautiful valley too. So as unpleasant as that ride was for me, I must say I'm glad where I wound up. Although part of me worries that the ride home is going to be a bit treacherous. All right, we're here. Let's see what's up. If you thought being crammed in a van for two hours was bad with 16 people, I'm gonna argue this is arguably worse. Um, yeah. And to add to this, I have a really bad bout of insomnia and on top of like a lot of laughter and lots of loud noises, I'm not exactly my bubbly effervescent self as you can tell. Yeah. Alright, first lesson of eating in 
the province and to come to a party. First lesson, grab all the food you best you can because to make sure you don't get cheated, especially if you have an American appetite like me. So I don't know what is in here. It's a bunch of lechon, some rice, some calderetta, I think, some beef, and then some tinono, and then there's some kilowen, and there's some other stuff, and so on. Let me get some lechon. And after a two hour ride through bumpy roads, riding through, fording through mighty rivers, Dagnam it, get me some goddamn crispy pig skin, yeah? With lots of fat. No, I can imagine the barangay party this big. They gotta do a lot of advanced preparation. Our skin's the right thickness. It's been sitting out for a little bit. And some more of a chewy, elastic sort of thing going on. But it's fine by me. Fine for good. And of course, I'm surviving. Again, the more slowed down mariachi music is causing me some migraines. Well. But I'm battling. I'm battling. Here's some more lechon skin. Or I'm here some do I think. Maybe mix some with some caldereta. And it's a total meat fest, you can see. Lots and lots of pork, especially. Lots and lots of beef. Well, not too much beef, I guess. Except that papaya time. There's a little more zing in that vinegar. And then you get though. The thing is, is the pork tinono. I'm expecting this to taste smoky. Yeah. Yep. I don't like it had been smoked with hickory wood chips. Yeah. That tinono. Quite interesting. Yeah. Although I know it, I have not run through hickory wood chips. It's usually charcoal. Yeah. It has like a little bit of a Peking duck sweetness too. What should I go for next? Well, there's not enough soup in here, so it's a lot of innards, and look at the big old beef fat there. This is gonna be super rich, guys. There's not much soup to go around. It's a, a very generous portion. And of course, I've probably featured this soup way too much on my vlogs. Pinapaitan is a soup of many names. You can call it Pinapaitan, Papaitan, Sinanglao, and such. And of course, it's a soup of many beef parts, meat and oval. Yum. A lot of fattiness. There you go. And of course, I'm watching the other people go. Let's see if there's any food left over, but I think I'm plenty good here. There's some kilowin under here, and I think it is raw beef. There you go, raw beef. I'm it mixed in with my peanut python so that it's got some of the same flavors going through, vinegary sort of thing. It's not really very vinegary though, for my liking. Everything's so hearty and meaty, basically. Um, I don't know about nuanced and like um, flavor, but it's just like unapologetically meaty. And hey, after a long van ride, once again through bumpy dirt roads and fording through two mighty rivers and fending for yourself in the mountains why yes this is just absolutely awesome comfort food looks like some fatty beef here i have no idea what this is but it looks like intestines it looks like intestines the color of squid or the color of like um the cuttlefish that comes from a can. And there's some intestines and tomato sauce. Is what it is. Light tomato sauce. And it's pretty clean. I think I've eaten everything through the pile. So, like I said, I don't think it's like nuanced in flavor as far as um, if you're looking for like a refreshing bite. No, no, no. This is all meat. All meaty awesomeness. Oh, dinar de ra'an. Well, of course, you got to pick that. And I have high hopes for this because it looks crispy all the way through. And I have this a dish I'm really picky about as well. Mm. Mm. 
for me, the dinar de is the best thing here. And I mean, all the food is like, I'm not saying like, everything's just average. It's just everything is just unapologetically meaty. And this too is. But that blood sauce is rich. No iron flavor. And beautifully crispy almost all the way through. This is a job well done. I really like that dinar de ron. Not for one bite, I've said that. Look at this chunky soup with little broth there. It's a lot of meat parts, beef parts. Mm. And I love that they're big. Chunks of intestine in here with a little bit of fat there. And it's a wonderful creaminess to it too. And I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I find this food really satisfying, even if it's just straight up meat. And after conquering the mountains and the rivers, and I keep saying that because I'd be dang proud of myself to do that too. Well, dagnamit, this is a comfort food at the end of the rainbow. All right, uh, back in a bit. Round two. I didn't get as much food this time, and I believe I did finish all that. Some more of the dinar duran, which is awesome. I need some more of that beef caldereta, beef shank. And I had some more of that pita python soup, so this is what I'll try, especially because I was shortchanged on soup, but there's plenty of it here. But I'm not complaining, there's still lots and lots of meat and fatty chunks and ofo. There we are. That looks really rich. I love it when Pina Python has that like um, thick mouthfeel you can see there. A little bit creamy, some fat, like a little bit fatty bits. And it just tastes unapologetically beefy. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. There's a slight bit of funk, so I wouldn't say this is super clean. Compared to, oh, I always come do it the lazy comparison. Mama Pink's been a python, but more than made up with all these generous pieces of beef, some fat, and some awful innards. And of course, I love it's piping hot too. Yeah, this really hits the spot. So for me, the real standout is the dinar de ra'am and the pina paitan. Everything else, really good. Alright, uh, lunch is done and I'm not full, but very satisfied with that meal. Very much done with it. Um, now as for the wedding ceremony, <clears throat> I don't think they... So I may have misinterpreted, this is not like love in the time of Zoom after all, it's more or less just a wedding celebration in the Barangay Hall and nothing much and the funny thing is it's no wedding in there so it doesn't really feel like a wedding and for me, um, I've been pretty honest so far, I mean when I got here I kind of said oh I'm not feeling good as far as like I was down at the dumps, I was kind of like in the downswing of one of my really bad mood swings, um, I just was not feeling all that great. I'm feeling a little better. Um, so I mean that's kind of part of my bipolar and part of me being extremely introverted. I cannot stand being in a van for with 16 people over bumpy roads and then being noisy and then it's like two hours ride. I can't stand that. Um, it's part of me being really schizoid and such. Uh, the other thing is I really despise weddings. I try to go out of my way never to go to one, just to get away from it. Um, I think it makes me a bad guy, I suppose, but I just don't really. And time, I think it's probably a subject for another blog. But, you know, when they told me what a wedding is and my dad said, oh, you love it here. It's not like in the States where it's like a business affair and, you know, mm, it's pretty inclusive for people. To go to weddings where you actually don't know anybody and that's always the case with me and I'm like really socially awkward as it were and I don't like rejection and I don't like being humiliated in public and I try to avoid all of that 
and I'm not super close out of outside my you know family as far as my immediate family is mom and dad and it was just me growing up so for me it's like um not a, some of this doesn't really make sense as far as like bonding beyond that group um and I know that might be sad to you and that sound doesn't sound very Filipino of me but you know what whatever I buck the trend I buck the convention as it were and it's part luck um but truth be told this is like a wedding without incident it just felt like any other barangay party get together and I think you know just felt really at home as it were and only a stone's throw away you just make you feel like you're in the mountains right nestled in the valley by the mountains this is more my thing that last river we forded is right over there beyond the embankment there really nice setting i must say uh this is kind of a contrast to pidig where like everything seems to be close even though there are mountains nearby and such um vitar is huge um it's very spread out there's some really lovely scenery here lots of mountains um everyone made a deal of it when we got here there are like mountains that look like two breaths um i think i might have caught that in camera i'm not really sure and so on i realize i'm rambling a bit and um this is one of those times where the insomnia has really gotten to me and it's really affected me big time and it's making me really crabby and then i'm not exactly looking forward to the ride home back to pit dig from here because well two hour van ride bumpy roads not appealing to me in the least bit um but i'll get through it somehow and then try to catch up on sleep but all the food here i mean top notch top notch um top notch comfort food as it were uh i really love the dinar duran and the peanut pie time those are the two best dishes of the lot and now if you find this bit if you find me too caustic to even like this video or subscribe sorry i tell it what it is and then I'm, I'm not a good vibes long blog i just go off the handle sometimes <sighs> because of trying as much as possible to restrain myself from really getting into really lousy the worst of my mood swings oh there you go signing off from vintar and regardless if I got PMS or anything like that, it doesn't ever stop the empire from ever ending, what does it? <laughs>